G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with my swipe with my, well it's half bloom and half regular swipe. Uh, the background is not the usual thick house paint pillow, it's just Floetrol and Artist Loft Black. Four parts Floetrol, one part black. That's my Floetrol. They were out of the four litre bottles when I went the other day <clears throat> and I said, can I have four of the one litres <laughs> instead? Because the, the four litres is $56 and I think the one litre is about $26. So I said, well, give me four of these then instead of the one. So I got four of these for the same price, but they're quite handy to, to use. Um, now I've got my, my little swiping tools. It's a plastic cut up. Um, I'm out of a few of the colours <clears throat> that I did on my last pour, so I'm just going with some more. I would have liked a dioxys in purple, but I'm pretty much out of that one. So I'm going with a lighter purple. I've got a lighter purple, a really dark teal, um, magenta, and a darker gold. It's the darker gold this time. It's called rich gold. The other one was called pale gold. They're all Joe Sonia's. That's the magenta. The cell activator is two parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Titanium White. This is nearly empty. I do have another one and I just phoned um, Artcon and said, can I order some more white? And they said they are totally out of white Amsterdam Titanium. He says, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Oh, poor man. Anyway, he's ordering more, but <clears throat> he's not going to have any in for a couple of weeks, a few weeks. He's got to get some more in from overseas. So if you guys uh, find somewhere that has it, I would suggest that you grab it now before the whole of Australia runs out. Right, so that was the titanium white and flow troll, two parts flow troll, one part titanium white. I did just jump online and order four more tubes from another company. Um, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. Get it while you can because everyone's buying it at the moment. So if you have found somewhere that's got some, I would suggest that you grab it. Let's cover that. And then I will tilt just to smooth it out and get the remaining area off because you don't want to leave it too thick. Can you see the waves there, how it's flowing? So that's too thick if it does that. You want it to not do that and just be nice and smooth and not wavy. We'll just pour off that other corner there. I just find it's easier to do this than put a thin layer on because then you end up scratching your surface and you don't get a nice smooth even coat. You're better off just putting on a little bit more and, and tilting it so that it's nice and smooth. So this, because it's a swipe, it's not the same. I'm not really gonna be tilting it so I don't want a big thick layer of the pillow paint underneath just centering that back again all right so that's my background I've got my little bit of paper towel there ready to go now uh, because it's a dark black ground I'll start with a lighter color and then a dark and then a light, and I love the way the white and the gold react together to make lacing, so it's going to be those. Uh, I'll give it a shake. These are all my bloom colours in here. I'll make up a big batch of them and then just keep them. I don't, I don't see why we can't just keep them. This one's a little bit thin. Um, now, I did say to you I'm going to put a bit more on this time, hey? it's that one better close it and it's a good idea to actually give it a little bit of a, a wipe on the very tip there to get the paint off so that it doesn't dry and get a little scabby end on it 
just do that. Oops, there goes the teal. Now this teal is 50% phthalo blue and 50% phthalo green. It's got a little scabby bit there. <laughs> bit it off with my teeth. Give that a bit of a shake. Now hopefully this is not too much paint. I might have gone the opposite way, eh? But I want half the colour that way and half the colour that way. So if you've only got a very thin amount of paint, it tends to all go on one side when you swipe and then you've got nothing left for the other side. So that's why I'm trying to get half on one side and half on the other. Shake my gold. Get that little scabby bit off too. See that little bit there on the end of my finger? That's the gold that was on the top. So you just got to peel that off. And then wipe it again so that doesn't happen. Ratio, let's go with the white. Now, not too much this time. I had too much last time. All right, that'll do me. Just one, one little going over of it. Radio guys, wish me luck. Let's see if this works this time. Now, I'm just going to try and touch the white and not touch the rest of the colours either. Take half the white. Drag it over the other colours. There's only a little bit of colour there. Try not to touch your plastic too much into all your other colours, otherwise you're just going to drag them all off. You just want the white to be dragged over the top. So just touch your white, half the white, save half the other side, and overlap over here. Okay, wipe that off. many cells lacing over here not sure why push a little bit harder and go slower see if that will help okay let's go the other side now I don't want my lines to join up or so I'm gonna to to go off center a little bit here pick up that white try not to touch the cells because they will get stretched and elongated so don't do that oh see that's better I've got more white I haven't got as much white there I've got more white here see the difference I obviously didn't take enough white out because I was careful not to use all the white because I needed it half on the other side Obviously, I didn't use enough white over there. I'd have to go over that side again. Because it's the white that's going to make your lacing. It's the um, opaque colour. And it's going to create your cells. Because it's heavy, it drops down around your other colours. Look, there's a blob in there. Okay, and a little bit left. Use my little one. Okay, now I'm going to turn it round and try and improve on that side there. Because this is gorgeous. So what I need to do is drag more of the white down. Hopefully it's not too late. To do that, try not to touch your cells because you don't want them to be overstretched. You now those cells in the middle, you don't want to kind of drag them through. Oops. 
or if you want to then you need to go above the cells so you've got a lot more cells in there now and this is improved so yeah I needed more white um, let's use the smaller one and then I can just get in between those cells a little bit can't believe I still had too much white oh I didn't pull enough over the first time I guess maybe I need to make like two stripes of white one for this side and one for that side yeah I'm I don't like those big blobs in the middle. I'm going to see if I can actually get rid of them. Mm, not really. See how I grabbed the, the cell there and it's stretched it? I don't mind this. This is pretty. I just want to fix this bit up here that I don't like. I don't know if I can or whether I'm going to ruin it. I had that pink stripe through the middle there too. Okay, how's that? Have I redeemed myself? It's so pretty and bright. Look at that magenta wow okay let me move my little pieces of plastic out of the way try and keep a little bit tidy now do I want to tilt oh look I've missed my edges how did, I, how did that happen Let's put a little bit of white there come on white where are you My dirty plastic back into it. That's why I got a bit of a messy look there. I shouldn't do that. Right, that'll do. That will do. It's only an edge. No one notices the edges, do they? So what do you think of that one? Very delicate lacing, isn't it? going to tilt. Um, sounds like a courier has just arrived. I think it's my Montmartre paints. Let me just put you on the pause for a minute. It was the courier dropping off some paint and some more canvases. Now I was debating whether or not to stretch this out. But the reason I'm not going to is because it doesn't have the pillow underneath it. If it had a nice thick pillow, the top, you know, of the house paint, the top would slide around easily on it. But because there's no pillow paint, it would just be these lacings that would be stretched. And, um, I don't think it would be a very good outcome. I think I might actually try and get some black house paint so that one there that's just a, a little tile that I did a while ago and that had the pillow paint on it so that I actually did stretch out a little bit but I'm not going to on this one look at that lacing mm -hmm. to die for Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now this side I think is prettier than that side because <clears throat> I've swiped more on that side. What I think I need to do as well is just use 
my big sheet of plastic so that I just swipe once and that way I don't get these lines which kind of go a little bit kind of blurry so that's another option too just using a bigger piece of plastic or if you want to do paper towel I haven't actually used paper towel for this particular bloom recipe swipe so I'm not sure how it works I've only used the plastic but I'm open to giving it a go I don't know that the weight will be enough there I like the weight of it to actually um, pull through the paint a little bit more so that's it there love the lacing all right I will leave it there love that corner there too where the gold is so that was that one this is the one that I did just before Oops. I'm in the light that's it there did that one just before if you missed that video you can go back and watch that one if you want to that was the white swipe over some blues it's turned out really pretty too okay and uh, I'm just wondering if thicker mix all round would be better for swipes because the white is thicker it's two to one when I do the blooms it's three to one so anyway we'll see might do some more experimenting radio I'll leave it at that and uh, I'll see you for the next one what would you like to see next time let me know all right thanks for watching bye for now